So yeah, thanks for joining us, Bo. Firstly, congratulations. How did it feel to win the league? It was unbelievable. I think we performed great all season, but especially against Bristol, we put in a great performance and got a great win. I was going to say, beating obviously Bristol, Bristol to win the, win the league, obviously biggest rivals all season, did that make it extra sweet? Yeah, I think it just showed though that the attitude and stuff we had going into the game, um, we've wanted to win as many games as possible this season and play our football, whoever we're against, and I think that showed. And obviously being a hometown girl, number seven, um, does that make it extra special? I've seen that you're, you and your family are Liverpool fans. Winning the league of Liverpool, how, does that, how, is, how is that? That must be amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Like Growing up, that's what I wanted to do, win trophies for Liverpool. And this is my first one of many, hopefully, and like I can't wait. And you were the youngest ever captain at one point this year. Um, again, like what was what was that like? That was a proud moment for me and my family. I think I've worked hard since I was a kid, and like you, I wanted to be Liverpool's captain when I'm older, and to be the youngest women's Liverpool captain at the minute, it's great. I still it hasn't sunk in. And looking ahead to next season, obviously back in the WSL, what are the sort of aims for yourself? I know you've played a bit for some of the England youth teams, and Liverpool, obviously. The, a few years ago, had a really successful time. Is the aim to sort of stabilise or straight away compete in the WSL? I think compete. Um, I think everyone else thinks compete. We're Liverpool Football Club. We don't want to be known as a championship team. We want to be at the top, especially with the men doing so well. We want to be doing just as good. It might take a bit of time, but we've got a squad capable of competing with the top opposition. We've showed it this season in the cup, and I'm looking forward to it. And during the season, you guys, after losing the first game, obviously an amazing run not to lose since the first day of the season. Were there any particular games where you sort of won and then you were like, that's it, we're going to do it now? I know in January, I think you beat Palace 4-0 away and they've been up there. Was that like a big moment or were there any particular games that stand out? I think we, we was just going game by game. If you keep winning the game, you can only play what's in front of you that week. So we was focusing on that, getting the win, tick it off, next one now. And I think we weren't getting ahead of ourselves, which is a good sign as towards the end of the season, the league was getting closer. We were still points clear, but if we made slip ups, then it could have affected us. So you had to just keep winning the game, what was in front of you. But you do have a little feeling in yourself, we're close here, but you don't say it. You just keep working hard and we're still working hard now because we've got a game to win on the weekend and the week after that. Yeah, and obviously on Sunday, the trophy lift. Have you, is that anything special? I know they've been on to the Neve to do the Henday Shuffle. Is there anything, anything particular? lined up or is that just going to be a great are you going to have friend, fan, friends and family are they going to be here to... yeah all my friends and family will be here and then they'll probably be going to the derby but i think it's going to be great to see everyone i think my dad might cry <laughs> and my mum um because we're all liverpool fans as you said before and i'm looking forward to for all the girls to have their family and friends over as well because they're not as privileged to have them over every week to every game and i'm quite lucky in that sense but it's going to be a great day yeah and firstly congratulations on winning the league how did that feel yeah it's been, it's been cool um, it's been a great season uh, obviously we had a goal coming into the season that we wanted promotion and now that it finally happened um smiles smiles are on the faces all around yeah it's been great and even in training like the girls have been great all year round and everybody's um everybody's just enjoyed the season and you get the best out of yourself when you're enjoying yourself so and talking of goals you've scored a lot this year <laughs> and uh being the leading scorer how's that do you feel like this has been one of your best seasons of your career so far how's it been scoring all that yeah for sure i've um i've been four years in england now and definitely this is this is one i like to remember Unfortunately, I've been having a few injuries and couldn't get kind of consistency in my game. But this season, I kind of had a good break, and it's it's, it's been a beautiful feeling. <laughs> and you played under the manager before at West Ham. Was yeah. he massive for getting you to join the club? Yeah, of course. Year? He he gave me a call in the summer, and it was kind of it wasn't even a question. I was just like, get me over there. And um, we had a good conversation with my dad, and Beardy knows me very well, and it's quite nice going into kind of a comfortable environment too. Uh, and obviously, it's, as you say, it's been a very successful season. Jurgen Klopp, the men's manager recently, talked about how great it was that um, the women had been promoted and won the league. How does that feel to have the support of <laughs> Jurgen and the men's team as no, well? He, he's, a, he's a great guy and I, I love the way that like he kind of goes out of his way to, to support us and that. And he'll, even like when you're on media days, like he'll know who we're playing the following week and our results the week before. Like He just seems like a great guy and you can see 
even in the men's game, like they're enjoying him a lot. Yeah. So yeah, now it's great to see the support. Okay. And obviously this season, it's been an amazing run since the first game of the season, yeah. unbeaten in the league since then. Are there any particular games that stand out at when you sort of won that game and you thought, right, we're gonna, we're going for it now, we're going to win um, the league? I think from the start, obviously, we knew that Beardy had a plan and the first few games we were doing well but we were struggling to create a lot of chances and then kind of the more we got into it the the more we kind of were doing better and of course the fans were great all year round but um, I think to come the fourth or fifth game in we were very confident about it yeah um, and obviously Sunday the trophy left um, how are you feeling for that have you got any, any plans I know we were saying to Bo that uh, a few of the players have been on for uh, Neve to do the Hendo shuffle have you, gonna, <laughs> have, you, have you got any big plans have you seen her dance it's <laughs> horrific um, now so my whole family I was saying that they've probably booked out the whole Ryanair flight <laughs> my whole family's coming over and just enjoy it with them how, so, many, how many have you got coming over I think 20 22 maybe so far which isn't bad yeah do they um, normally come and see you yeah uh, my parents are nearly over every weekend, but like my extended family, I haven't seen a lot of them in a good good few years actually. So it's it's going to be a great moment, and I can't wait to cherish that with them. And then the plans for next season, obviously back in the WSL. Um, what, what are your hope? If if you could be talking here a year from now, what would be the dream? The dream year. Um, that we just have a great year, and that it obviously we can't expect it to go very smoothly. We know it's going to be very tough, but hopefully our prep will be will be very good in pre season, and we'll be ready. Listen, we know that we're capable of staying up there and doing well. So, and that's where the club should be. So yeah. we'll be ready. Yeah, thanks for joining us, Nave. Congratulations on winning the league. How did that feel when you beat Bristol a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, special feeling, obviously. Um, you know, we didn't need to to get the three points there to, to win it, but obviously to do it away, I think it was just a, another sign of the challenges that we've overcome this season. Every time we've been asked a question, we've answered it. So uh, it was a fantastic feeling then to get the job done. And you've had quite a decorated career, whether that be at Arsenal, Chelsea, you've won uh, lots of trophies before. Where does this rank amongst them all? Oh yeah, it's right up there. Like, um, it's a, I'm a Liverpool supporter, so obviously to, to be at the club and to win some silverware and, and also get us back up to the top league, it, it's it's a massive, uh, pr like, proud moment for me. Um, so no, I, I'm ecstatic and I can't wait to lift the trophy. Yeah, any plans for Sunday? We've been saying to the others how you've had a bit of stick about what we're yeah, really doing. Yeah, there's been a bit of gathered momentum now. I think it'd be a disappointment <laughs> if I don't do it. So, uh, yeah, there's there's talks of the Hendo Shuffle, all right. Are you going to have a lot of family and friends coming to the... Yeah, I've got um, about 20, I think, coming over. Uh, Mum, dad, brothers and cousins and all sorts of coming. So, no, they're, they're, they're buzzing as well, looking forward to the weekend. And then... Um, Obviously, the season it's been the record that you guys have is sensational. Like 19 unbeaten in the league now. What's the secret to that? I don't know. I I don't know if there is a secret. I suppose a lot of hard work, as cliche as it sounds. Uh, but yeah, we've we've just taken every game as it comes, and um, yeah, we we've worked incredibly hard this season on the training pitch and the, the togetherness of the group, and obviously the quality as well has has gotten us over the line. And, and Matt's played a huge part in that. And you've, you've been here for years now and in some tougher times. What's been the main like, sort of turnaround to the success you guys have had this yeah, year? I, sp I suppose it's Matt coming in, um, you know, revitalising the squad, uh, bringing belief back into the squad and, and also being solid. And, you know, he's, he's been at Liverpool, he's won titles. Uh, and, yeah, he's, he's been able to come in and get us over the line. And any over this whole season, have been any particular moments that have stood out to you? I was Jazz Matthews' last minute winner against uh, Charlton was unbelievable. Like that feeling, um, you know, it was, it was such a tight game, was so hard, uh, so tightly contested, and then to get that last minute winner was, was unbelievable feeling. And uh, with the men's side of the game, we've seen in recent weeks, Klopp's obviously said his congratulations. He's spoken about you guys in his press conferences. How does that feel to have the support of Jurgen and the men's men's team? Uh, it's cool. It's um, it's it's really like, it's it's an important thing. You know, it's it's a little bit of support like that goes a long way. And and obviously to know that we have the support of Jurgen and the back end of of the men's side as well and, and also at the top of the club as well you know they've been fantastic um, they've come in and, and you know they've taken control and, and brought us you know all that has obviously all helped us get back up to where we need to be as well with changes that have come in off the pitch and next year what are the what are the aims if we're here a year from now what would be the dream season uh, next year yeah. Oh, yeah obviously you know you want to be up there competing but I mean if Next year would be a dream, say if you could get a, an FA Cup, a League Cup and um, 
a Champions League spot. I mean, you always want to go for the top spot, but you have to be realistic as well. You, you aim for as high as possible, but a, a dream season for me would be a, a trophy and yes, maybe if, if the top, if not somewhere in the top three. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Uh, firstly, congratulations. Do you feel like you've got Liverpool back where they belong now? Listen, we, it's not where we be, look. It's not where we belong. It, we don't have a defined right to be there, but we've worked hard to get there, and, and we're there on merit now. Um, and yeah, no, we're 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 delighted, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, and obviously, you came back last summer for a second spell at the club. What was the reasons for you coming back? Um, it, it's been hard to see what's happened since I've not been here with regards to what, how it's panned out on the pitch. Um, I still don't think the team would have gone down if they would have managed to finish the season. Um, but obviously Covid and uh, the way that the FA finalised the league um, relegated Liverpool. But um, no, listen, I, I had a great time here before. Um, we were settled in the area as a family and if I was to move the family again we wanted to go to an area where where we knew, so it could help my wife and my children settle back in. Um, but yeah, no, as I said, I, it's, it's, I don't know, sometimes you just fit somewhere, and maybe I just fit at Liverpool, I don't know, but, um, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm back and you know, I'm loving working at the club again. And you've talked over the year and after you won the league about like this is sort of just the start as a three, five year plan. Do you mind sort of expanding on what's part of that, that plan? Yeah, yeah, of course. So we're in the process of trying to secure our own training facility, purpose built for, for not just the first team, but the academy. Um, that, that's ongoing at the moment and hopefully not next season, season after we'll have our own home there. Um, the plan was to get back into the WSL, we need to consolidate when we get up because it's a tough league and then part of that plan is to just compete for to winning trophies again but that's not going to happen overnight, um, we understand that but there's a, there's, there's a process in place for us to be as competitive as we can. Um, and are you, how are you feeling ahead of Sunday's trophy lift? Have you got anything special planned, or are you going to sort of leave that to the players? No, no, no. We're just um, well. We need to win the football match first. My focus is is Sheffield United, and my focus is hopefully getting three points. We want to continue the run that we're on. And Sheffield United are in good form at the moment, so it's going to be a tough game. Um, hopefully, we can get the job done, and then we can celebrate with our fans here afterwards. And um, then we've got another game after that, so we want to continue the run that we're on. We want to finish the season as strongly as we can. Um, and, and yep, yeah, but we can definitely enjoy Sunday with, with our fan base. And finally, next year, obviously, you've said, is that the main focus just to sort of get back into WSL, consolidate, and then you can build on from that? Yeah, definitely. We, we look, we want to be as successful as we can, but I'm not, I'm not naive. You know, you look at when Arsenal come here, it was quite a competitive game, but in moments, when we either switched off or turned the ball over, we got punished. So the level from the top three, which has been a consistent top three now for two, three years, um, there's a massive gap. You can see that from some of the results just of late with with Leicester, etc. So look, we, our ambition is to be competitive, get up, consolidate. It's going to take at least two or three transfer windows for us to be able to compete with them top teams. Um, you know, but we're, we're, the ambition is to compete. You know, long term.